Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my May bullet journal setup and for this month I'm doing a cityscape theme to go with my era's tour theme for this year. So this month is 1989 which is my favorite album. Um, it's the album that made me a Swifty. Um, I was I don't remember how old I was when it came out, but, like, I was, like, young. Not, like, super young, but, like, I'm not really sure. Maybe, like, wait, when did it come out? 2014? Um, I was... I don't remember. I was in, like, a low grade, but my friends were, like, really obsessed with it, and so I was like, oh, okay. And then obviously Shake It Off, Blank Space, Style, Wild Streams, they were all on the radio, so I heard them all the time. Um, and then I got the album for my birthday, and then I listened to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so now I have memorized all the songs. And my actual favorite Taylor song ever um, is on that album, which is I Know Places. Um, you should go listen to it. Um, stream 1989 Taylor's version. Um, but anyway, so because obviously the backdrop of that album is New York, I decided to do a cityscape. Um, and I kind of took a little bit of inspiration from Amanda Rachley for this. Um, but, you know, I just kind of looked at her theme and then drew all the buildings. But I think it turned out pretty good, so right now I'm doing my goals and habits page. Um, I'm not 100% certain about which habits I'm going to be tracking, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the same ones as I've been doing, but um, I might switch it up a bit. But I have a few goals for this month, they're mostly like, kind of, um, like sub goals or follow goals, but I also have some writing goals and a few other smaller goals that I wanted to write down so I just remember them when I come to do my habits every day. Um, but I decided to do a sort of like sketchy feeling because that's how I sort of originally sketched out um, and I really liked how it looked so I just decided to replicate that with my pen. But I just started with the outlines of the buildings. Um, and I just made them layered. I didn't really add any kind of spaces in between because I think it looks better when it's like really crowded, you know, like a city. Um, but yeah, so I fully sketched over them and then I went in with a smaller micron pen and I did all the details, so windows, um, and I did like a couple different forms of that. Yeah. Um, but, as I'm recording this, it is the um, 20th of April, and the Tortured Poets Department came out on Thursday night for me, because um, I'm Pacific Time. So, um, I've had a full day to kind of listen to it, and also the surprise double album was a little crazy because at 11 p.m. I just like randomly looked at Instagram and then because there was a second countdown it's the lore is the lore is deep but all you need to know is we knew about 16 songs and then at um 2 a.m. Eastern she announces that there's 15 more songs so double album kind of it's all the same album but it's like a double album Anyway, let me tell you my favorite track so far. So I have about kind of three like top favorites that are contending for the spot right now. Um, so, so far my number one is My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. Um, number two is I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. And number three is Who's Afraid Of Little Old Me. Um, and then I have, oh, almost dropped my phone there. Um, but I do have, like, a couple other favorites, so Florida is another favorite, and Down Bad's another favorite, and then I do really like the Albatross from the anthology, like, the extra tracks, 
um yeah but overall the album is really good um it the sound is a bit different from what i was expecting so i didn't like it as much when i first heard it but now after listening to it for like another a whole day kind of it's grown on me and i actually really like it so um if you've been needing some new music to listen to there you go you can listen to tortured poets um yeah so my april goals are going pretty well um i've been filming a writing vlog of this month i haven't been writing as much um because i've been doing some other things but hopefully i'll be writing a bit this coming week and then i can film a bit more for that video and that will be next week's video so if you've been waiting to see a writing vlog that should be out next week um yeah but as you can see i'm filling in all the little windows and everything um it did take me quite a while but you know that's okay May for me is always a pretty busy month because I do dance classes just recreationally um, but my class always does one competition just like as part of the studio um, so I usually have that near the beginning of the month and then we do our year-end like recital or show at the end of the month so usually I have about two weekends taken up by dance in May um, and then school's kind of getting to the meat of what we're doing like that's kind of in april and may but usually i have a bunch of school stuff in may and this year i will be obviously writing my book and i am doing a small crochet project um just for me but yeah so i have to finish that kind of in the beginning of the month and also taylor's going back on tour so i have a couple things to watch um, while I write, usually if it's like during a good time, like if it's around 4 p.m., I usually just turn on a stream and then do stuff while it's in the background. Um, but I think she's starting in Paris, so we'll see if she adds tortured poet songs to the set list. That would be fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes sense because she's not doing a whole nother tour after this. That's too much. Yeah, but we'll kind of be seeing what the tour is going to look like after Tortured Poets comes out. Um, yeah, so that'll be exciting, and I'm not really sure what else is going on next month. Not too much, I don't think. Um, but now I'm moving on to my calendar. I did kind of the same sketchy vibe. Um, I'm not sure, really sure why my camera kept unfocusing, but just ignore that. Speaking of tortured poets, um, I was actually listening to the album as I did this because I did film this video on Friday. Um, because we had a three-day weekend, so I decided to not just film it in parts over the week, to just sit down and do it all at once. So, yeah, that's what I was doing on Friday, um, as well as listening to Twitch posts, obviously. Um, yeah, but if you also liked Taylor Swift and listened to Twitch posts, let me know what your favorite tracks are so far. Or, um, if you haven't listened to Tortured Poets yet, or you kind of only know a few songs, let me know what your favorite 1989 song is. Or you can do both. Um, I think my top three from 1989 are, obviously, I Know Places. Um, probably... 
all you have to do is stay or how you get the girl is number two and then i think style is number three because you know you can never go wrong with style a lot of people didn't like the taylor's version of style because she added a bit more guitar to the opening but i actually think that really adds a lot to the song Anyway, I've been using a light blue color because the main color of 1989 is a blue um, and I didn't really have the proper like blue color but this was the closest. Um, so yeah, I have a blue Tombow um, and then I was just using micron pens to do the titles and any outlining. Um, so it's a pretty simple setup and it should be pretty easy to recreate. You just draw some boxes and then you add window details. Um, and if you need ideas for those, I just went on Pinterest and looked up kind of bullet journal setup with cityscapes. Um, or I looked up just a cityscape picture and then I kind of took inspiration from those. Um, but now I'm doing my gratitude tracker, so I just put a title and then um, the numbers down the side. And then I just write one or maybe sometimes two things that I'm grateful for every day. Um, the black pen did smear a little, but whatever doesn't matter. Um, and then this is my weekly spread for week 18, which is the first week of May. Um, it does include the first or the last three days of April. Um, but I decided to set it up early because I always forget to set it up until like Monday, but that's probably not what I should be doing. Um, yeah, but that will be week 18, which is a little crazy. I'm not really sure how we're, well, I guess we're 16 right now, but how are we 16 weeks into 2024? I keep seeing updates like when I'm scrolling on Instagram. There's this one account that does um, like a progress bar for the year. And the last one I saw, which was a couple days ago, was 29% through the year. That's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let me know what videos you want to see in May. Um, I'll probably do a read and annotate with me. Um, obviously my June setup, which will be reputation theme. I'm really excited for that one. Um, and I'll probably do um, a writing vlog. Um, yeah, but this is my final flip through. I really hope you guys enjoyed this setup. Um, let me know if you still want to see bullet journal videos because I feel like they haven't been getting as much views as my other videos. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Bye!